this week's food haul is the subject of today's video. Hi, my name is Jody Bunting. Welcome to this Saturday afternoon in lockdown. My first real day where I feel like I'm in lockdown in the UK. So, you know, let's just talk about food. Let's just get on with it. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so I've been to the greengrocers, back into, um, you know, thinking about my health more, uh, especially nutrition. Hi, Christina, welcome to the live video. And when I think back to last lockdown, when did I feel the healthiest? And, and you know, this is a question for you guys as well. Think back, when nutritionally you're eating stuff, when did you feel healthy? This is sparkling water, by the way. Um, and for me, I felt healthiest when I was eating vegan keto. So I've been to the grocery uh, shop, to the green grocers. So I just thought I would show you my food haul. I might need to move back a little bit so you can actually see all this stuff I've got. Okay. Um, hi, Vicky. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Jane. Hi, Kay. Hi, Welcome back, thank you, Michelle. So let me just show you what I've got. First of all, for those of you who saw my videos of the aubergines in Egypt, this is tiny, tiny, but it's okay. So I've got myself an aubergine, which I am going to slice up. Also, I popped into Home Bargains and got some ghee. So I don't know whether you know, but they do a lot of cooking in Egypt in ghee. So I really think it's the secret ingredient. If you, have, if you don't know what ghee is, it's basically clarified butter. And that clarification of the butter basically means you can cook with it without reaching the smoke point. So you can cook with it at a very high temperature, still get the lovely flavour of butter, um, but it won't become toxic and cause issues with your body. So this is why I've got some ghee. To be honest, I've never really used it before. So it's a, I just thought I'd try something new because I do, you know, I love the taste of butter. Um, so I look forward to trying that. That was three quid from Home Bargains. So that will be going with my aubergine. Also, I'll be making some cauliflower steaks. So cauliflower steaks. Hi Gemma, hi Laura, hi Marie. Vicky's waving. Uh, I'm also going to make some uh, celeriac mash. So for those of you who didn't see this, it's one of the best things in keto. It's basically just mashed potato, but using a celeriac. I've just seen these two onions. Like, where did, I didn't put those in. My mum must have put those in my box. Um, and my mum also wanted some jacket potatoes. So the potatoes and the onions are for her. They're not for me. I've got lots of vine ripe tomatoes with some big mushrooms. So we'll be having those in the morning. And again, I'll be cooking them in some ghee. Just those two things, like high quality ingredients with a little bit of ghee. Beautiful. Uh, Christina's saying, uh, ghee's in our shopping list today. Fantastic, that's good. Uh, welcome Maureen, hi. Uh, and then these blueberries were buy one, get one free, or were they two for a pound? Anyway, two for a pound. They were the last two, so the woman gave me a third one for free. So all those blueberries for a quid, just bargain, absolute bargain. Uh, this is the grocery store outside Asda or near Asda in Utoxta. Uh, and then I got these amazing strawberries for 150. Look at the colour of those. You don't get them in Aldi, that's for sure. Okay, so 150 for those. Uh, some broccoli. And I've missed you. I've really, really missed you. Avocados, yes. I haven't had avocados for months, so I'm really looking forward to having a little bit of those. And you can't, I can't have avocado without some fresh chillies. And this is one thing I did enjoy every single day in Egypt because they love spicy stuff. Um, so fresh chillies with my avocado. Um, also in my ghee, I'm going to be cooking my asparagus. Now I was shocked to see this was 250. So that was 250 for that tiny little bunch. So it obviously quite nice thick pieces. Obviously it's just, um, it's quality. Quality ingredients. Uh, oh, and then the other thing that I didn't put in them, I must wear these daffodils. These are, I'm not, not eating those. Although some of my holistic friends do actually eat different flowers because they do contain different things. So that was it, guys. So that is my food haul. Obviously, there's a few things in there with my mum. 
uh, but that comes to £21.57 uh, and that is going to last me all week, okay? So that is my food haul. What is yours, guys? What is your plan for the week? Obviously, it's now Saturday, the day most people go shopping, um, but obviously normally people have got treats to eat in over the weekend and they're going to start tomorrow or they're going to start Monday. So when are you going to start? And what are you going to do? That's what I, what I want to ask you. Uh, Maureen saying, I'm looking good. Isn't it amazing, Maureen? My scab, my scab literally came off in the shower this morning. So my head almost looks normal again. I had a shave, had a haircut. I actually look, look pretty great. I'm quite impressed. Um, my selfie light that I normally use was... Um, is still in Egypt with Mohammed. Um, so I've been towing bargains also to buy myself a new selfie light. So again, great lighting, loving life. Uh, welcome Joan, hi Lynn, welcome to the live video. So that was the food haul. Uh, we will be back in the morning with uh, Sunday stretch. So 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Oh, it's gonna feel early, it's gonna feel cold, it's gonna feel dark. But 8 a.m. tomorrow morning, I'll be back doing my exercise, my first exercise video for a week and a half. Um, I'm having my stitches taken out Monday, so we'll definitely do the Monday March, but it might be a little bit later because I'm having my stitches taken out at 9.45. Right guys, cheers, enjoy your Saturday evening. I don't know what's on TV, but I've got some great films to watch on Amazon Video, so I'm looking forward to enjoying some of those. Uh, and if you haven't, if you haven't got Amazon Video, there's a small series called uh, "The Grass Is Always Grinder." <laughs> so if you haven't got Amazon Video, I would recommend that because it is really uh, a great series to watch. So that's called "The Grass Is Always Grinder." <laughs> It will make you smile. Uh, still loving your rimmed glasses, really suit you. Yes, you're right, Christina. As I said to Christina yesterday, one of the worst things about the last nine days of being in my Egyptian experience was having no glasses for nine days, so it feels so nice. These are my backup pair. I'm actually quite enjoying them. The only problem is, because they're close to my face, they steam up a lot, and obviously when you're wearing your mask, just logistically they don't work, but they look quite good, quite like it. Shafiq Yarag, <laughs> waiting for your brother in Egypt again. So Shafiq, welcome to the live video. But that is it for now, guys. As I said, I'll be back tomorrow morning uh, at 8 a.m. for fitness. And then we'll be back at 6.30 for my story, what the hell happened in Egypt. I'm still comprehending what happened um, and what's going to happen in the future. But thank you, guys. Enjoy your Saturday. Bye for now. Bye.